Did you know that BioWare did a game that about 95% of you may not remember what it was? And it starred a very popular character, one that you never thought would be done as an RPG. And yes, you know them by their fame of Mass Effect, and this is a DS game that came out and is called Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. Is it good? Well, not really. Is it bad? I wouldn't say it's too bad, but it's not great. So 2006 hits and Bioware releases the Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood video game, uh, which is a completely different style of gameplay as I was just telling you guys. Uh, and you know, it's done by Bioware, which like I said, is not my favorite company. I actually don't like the company at all. I don't care for Bioware. I actually wish that they would have teamed up with Square Enix, uh, the same creators that did the, the Mario RPG game, uh, which would have been fantastic. Like I said, it's not a very, very like amazing game. It's not a horrible game. Of course, like always, back in the early days when they were starting off with the DS and the Wii, uh, most of the time it was all about gimmicks, which this game kind of uses a lot of. And of course, with this one, we are talking about the touch screen. It used mostly movement of the stylus to move around. You have your different canceling attacks that you do when you're fighting opponents and all the crazy stuff that you would come from an RPG, just Sonic style. So in this game you get to play as 10 different Sonic characters uh, and as you can see the battles are very much Final Fantasy style uh, and we'll get a little bit into the gameplay here. I located all new characters, all new villains. Like I said this game takes the Sonic style of going super speed and slowing him down but to a point where I actually find quite interesting and quite fun. Like I said. Bioware is definitely not my favorite, uh, favorite uh, company. Don't really care for the games at all. Uh, but as you can see, we have to use the stylus to move Sonic around. And we get into these cutscenes. So, and like most RPG games, you have your character list. And you can upgrade your character with different accessories. Let's see if I can show you guys quickly. So you have all your different stats that you can equip to them. You level up your character. Uh, you get new power set, new power moves and power sets that you can do, which is called the POW. Uh, and this right here is the different um, unlockable uh, move sets you can get in the game, which is pretty cool. Work your way up. Like I said, very Final Fantasy esque. You have your uh, your um, accessories too, so potions and all that. You got your saved options. You got your map and a few other different items. Right, let's see if we can get ourselves into a battle. So they charge up to you and this is exactly what we got for a battle. Top shows you exactly what the HP is. Bottom you have your opponents and of course our characters in our levels up here. So you got attack, pow, defend, items, and flee. So, like classic turn-based Final Fantasy games, you can easily maneuver your way through. And this is a new option. So, right there, you want to make sure that you're doing it properly and hitting the at the right time to get the right movement. I don't know how that one works. Hmm. I'm getting my ass hand to it from that one. There are different ways of avoiding attacks. As you can see, this one is a lot different than I know of. We got a first round and a second round. Let's see if I can do a power move here. Uh, let's do the blue bomb. Sure. So we're taking over control of Rouge as well. And as you can see, I screwed that up. You gotta match the movements here, there we go. 
You gotta match those movements up with the right attack set to get it in there. And that's pretty much the combo system of the game. Now, do I think this game is amazing? I said it wasn't. It definitely is a very different style of gameplay. Something that, you know, is not really Sonic-esque, but it is something new and exciting that I actually really do enjoy. Um, I, I, like I said, I've never played this game. I just got it when I was older. I'm starting to play through it now. I'm actually quite enjoying it now that I do understand how to work the battle system. Uh, my hopes is that one day we'll actually get a sequel uh, to this style of gameplay. It doesn't have to be a sequel to the game itself, but I would really, really do love if that they would create a whole new RPG adventure. Maybe going with, you know, Square Enix? You never know. But I'm going to be back and playing this. Take care, guys.